KVM switches are handy devices for the server room or for tech support, allowing a user to control multiple computers, say a file server and an email server, from a single keyboard and monitor. StarTech's two-port USB KVM switch allows, obviously, two computers to be controlled from one USB keyboard and mouse. It ships with KVM audio and USB connectors for two VGA PCs. Hardware setup is simple. Just connect the KVM cables to the two PCs. The KVM cables incorporate a USB connection to power the switch, so there's no need for a separate power supply. Connect a monitor, a USB keyboard and mouse, and headphones, if necessary, to the front of the, the switch. Power up PC1 and wait for it to fully boot. Then toggle over to PC number 2 and power that up. When they're both up and running, you should be able to toggle between the two PCs. The switch creates additional drives on the computer for software setup, and this is far from intuitive. Rather than auto-playing, you have to open the folder in a new window before running the setup wizard. Once you're set up, there are a couple ways to change the PC you're controlling. The toggle on the switch changes the computer you're using, and hotkeys can also switch the entire KVM or everything but the audio. A software icon in the system tray can also switch the entire KVM or only audio, but it's far from very intuitive. Uh, click the hidden icon button, then right click for your options. From that menu, you can also select picture and a picture option, which allows a couple of things. You can start a process on one computer, then switch to the second while monitoring the first computer's progress. It's also handy for dragging and dropping files from one to the other, or for copying and pasting text from a file on one machine to the second. A couple caveats, though. Both machines have to be running the same Windows OS. Files transfers are only supported to the desktop, and there's no warning if you're overwriting a file with the same name. Picture in a picture can't handle multimedia files, and the company recommends the user have full administrative access to the machines. The build quality isn't very solid. We had a drop which knocked the toggle switch out of place and had to remove the front bezel to retrieve it. At an enterprise data center, you'd probably want KVM switches that can handle five or more machines. For a smaller operation, like a branch or departmental server setup, or SMB, two might be adequate. And you'll quickly start finding uses for the picture-in-a-picture -picture and file transfer functions. That said, though, at a street price of about $100, you're paying a considerable premium for that functionality over otherwise comparable units from Belkin or D-Link, which go for half that price.